Well, um, uh, Shakespeare once wrote a play called Henry V. And uh, I dare say a lot of you saw it on a movie. And it was a play about a very great uh, pageant. It was a play about uh, the movements of armies in England and the movements of armies in France. And a play about the court of England and the court of France and the king of England and the people in the court in France and so on and so forth. It was an enormous canvas. I don't know how many of you know, but Shakespeare only had a very small stage. His stage was about the size of two tennis courts. He had no scenery and he had no lighting and he had to present this great pageant to his public. And so he sent out an actor on the stage to announce the play. And this is what the actor said. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene, then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. But pardon, gentles all, the flat, unraised spirits that have dared on this unworthy scaffold to present so great an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or can we cram within this wooden O the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt? Oh, pardon. Since a crooked figure may in little place attest a million, then let us ciphers to this great account on your imaginary forces work. Suppose within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies whose high uprearied and abutting fronts the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Piece out our imperfections with your thoughts. Into a thousand parts divide one man and make imaginary puissance. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their proud hoofs in the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them here and there, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me chorus to this history, who prologue like your humble patience pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge. <laughs>